Um, called We Love Recycling because a play resource we go out to industry, collect non-toxic waste from firms, bring it back into our centre and then every day of the week community groups, church groups, schools, play groups, they all come into our centre, collect the waste and then bring it back into their centres to use in artistic activities. So it's about education, it's about arts, about creativity, um, all rolled into one. And it's basically to um, help the public um, educate them on how to recycle their household waste. Part of the plan is a zero waste community grant fund where we make funding available to uh, community groups um, to go out and take individual actions to hopefully get the recycling rates up and to reduce waste. We've got giant bins behind us where parents and their children can come in and out and do arts and crafts, promoting basically that waste is not waste. You don't look at what you consider rubbish in the same way again. You start you, utilising it and um, it's very subtle but it changes your attitude to what you consider as this rubbish or throwaway when you can actually use it and make something really good at it. Through using art as the medium of education it shows especially younger people that it can be fun and it's not just something boring that you don't really want to do but you have to do. We can show them how to make it part of everyday life. We want to make recycling a pleasure and not a tour. We've made a lovely jellyfish uh, out of sort of scrap materials and a little fish as well so it's been very interesting. I've made a deer, uh, a U-boat fish so it's got a camera and a jellyfish. I made a trinket box and a funny hat. I would recycle a lot, um, a lot at home, uh, but I think just to, to sort of as you can actually do some creative stuff as well with it. Uh, so just not to look at it, it's just throw it in the bin, but to do something with it. And uh, as I say, with working with children, it just makes us look at things in a more creative way. It's obviously important because of the state of the, the place. Even though we have landfills that one closed, and there's one in Glen Gormley up there, and they're talking about the big incinerator. You know, if people recycle stuff, then there's less waste. You know, and it's all about that. You know, now people trying to save money as well. So if you can save money by recycling your stuff, then why wouldn't you? You know, and that's that's it. For the younger kids, this is brilliant. Like the kids enjoy it, and they can learn from it. So definitely, like, that's how children learn through play. I knew a wee bit about recycling before. I would like to see some of us at school. Me too. I love the interaction with the children. I, I love to see the, the excitement in their faces and they, I think they really are looking twice at things that they normally would throw away. That's got to be a good thing. We've had a great response so far. There's been loads of people coming in and out of the bins. And we also have a quiz going on at the minute, um, sort of test their knowledge about what they've learned from the bins through the arts and crafts activities. So far, the public have been loving it. This encourages me more to encourage the kids even more. You know, now they see what can happen with stuff that is recycled. You throw something into the black bin, it's gone forever. People do want to help the environment, but they find it hard to get the information. So, you know, all round, it's been a great success. And uh, we'll have to do it again soon.